transition. Shifting focus to the tech space now, laptop and PC giant Lenovo is using artificial intelligence as a major tool in its roadmap to attract new customers. Lenovo's president of international sales organization, Matt Zelinsky, spoke to Ashmit Kumar on the future of AI, the company's India plans and impact of import restrictions. Listen in. Well, a couple of things. First of all, AI is certainly not new for us. We put our first billion dollars of R&D back in 2017. And to your point, last year, this thing really started to take off. And I think the first wave of AI is really about the training side of this and developing large language models. And that basically means you're taking all this data and you're putting it into this system that can then be inferred. And so I think uh, what you're seeing in 2023 is a lot of the industry preparing for what is artificial intelligence and getting all of this data again trained into the models. As we turn the page into 2024, uh, you know, all of a sudden it's all about making it personal and bringing AI to the masses individually with an AI PC. And I can tell you I started the year in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show, which is where we debuted our AI PC. Uh, this year, even a little bit after we did for the first time in October last year in Davos uh, for the World Economic Forum a week after CES. And, you know, as we really talk to CIOs and business leaders all around the world, it really is about hey, what does the AI PC do for the consumer? And so I think we're starting to articulate that story. And I think the usage cases are infinite, whether we're talking commercial, enterprise, or consumer applications. But I think as the year goes on, we'll be able to be very definitive and start training the world in terms of what AI means for consumers. Uh, the next one is about PLI. Uh, Lenovo uh, was approved, was give, granted approval by the Indian government uh, for participation in this uh, PLI scheme for IT hardware uh, 2.0. So there's clearly a push that Lenovo has in mind with respect to manufacturing and making here in India. I just want to understand what that strategy will look like. Uh, we have, we, we understand Lenovo has a facility in Puducherry. You've also done a partnership with Dixon for manufacturing here. What does this manufacturing process in India look like? Will you be doing it by yourself? Will you be doing it in partnership? Uh, is it only for local demand or is it also for export? Sure. So I think the first thing is we talk about 2.0 as it relates to notebooks. We'll be to start using Dixon's as a partner for that. Um, and that will be made in, built in India, made, uh, made for India. And I think as we think about the way forward, look, Lenovo has a history uh, of being one of the most robust supply chains on the planet. We're number eight in the world, according to Gartner. We have 35 facilities in nine different countries. And we get this question all the time in terms of, you know, is your footprint dialed in at, at any given time optimally? And we're never optimized. We're can, we always optimize on a very regular basis of exactly what we should do with our manufacturing footprint. So I would guarantee you over time, India will increase as a function of both making it India and also uh, exporting out of India. Now, that takes a bit of time to build capacity, whether it's our own capacity, whether it's bringing on more partners. That's something that we're literally at the beginning of embracing. So I would suggest with 2.0, PLI 2.0, you'll see, uh, see us using a partner there, but I can tell you that we will be uh, definitely looking at ways to dramatically expand both our partner capacity as well as our own capacity for the years to come. My one final question to you, and this again is neatly ties in with the manufacturing in India question. Uh, the end of last year, we very nearly had import restrictions being introduced for laptops, tablets, as well as PCs. It was then deferred uh, to subsequently November of this year, which is 2024. Uh, the question I want to ask you is, uh, is, this perhaps, uh, does, is this perhaps a source, a reason for concern for you going forward? Do you think enough capacities will need to be built anticipating a perhaps a potential uh, restriction in imports for laptops, tablets, and PCs? Look, you know, as it, it relates to that, we're going to go full steam ahead as fast as we can to be organically, you know, you know, able to service the Indian market here in India without having going through licenses or exceptions. I think, you know, ramping factory capacity takes time. So we're gracious and grateful for the fact that we have a little bit of ramp time to accomplish that. But our answer to the long-term question is not do we keep applying for licenses. It's clearly to build our capabilities and our footprint right here in India. So, you know, you can't just snap your fingers and have all these things happen overnight. It takes time. But um, I think over time you'll see us be able to service the market in a very organic and local way. And with that, it's a wrap on this edition of News Center. More news and updates continue right here on CNBC.